this morning I came to the rental property to tend to the uh, the plants. It's Memorial Day. Uh, happy Memorial Day. The day we celebrate those who have sacrificed so much, given everything for our country and our freedoms. But I am here uh, just just doing some horticultural stuff. Today I was thinking about it. It. it applies to this situation here. I was thinking about Earl Nightingale. And for those of you who don't know Earl Nightingale, I would uh, wish for your sake that you would uh, look up some of his teachings. He was a radio host, I think, gosh, in the 40s. And he did some motivational speaking. And he produced, I think with Nightingale Conant was the company, some tapes that I listened to as a, as a young man. And one of in the series was a piece called uh, Acres of Diamonds. And uh, the reason that applies here is because this is a property that I bought as a rental and investment. And uh, I would say that, you know, I say all the time for the, for the benefit of those watching that I, I have a, a middle school education at best, <clears throat> some months of, of the first grade of high school or something like that. And I say that to, to point out that it, it doesn't take much but ambition and a fire in your belly to get what you want out of life and live live richly and always. But <clears throat> I listened to that, and those kinds of things and read those kinds of books and they made a big difference in my life. So what I have here is kind of like Acres of Diamonds, you know? Uh, it's a story of a, of a man who didn't know the value of the land that he had and he gave it or sold it cheap cheaply and someone came along and 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 loved the land and and valued it and and nurtured it and then found of course a diamond mine but you got to listen to the the story and the, and the teaching that is there presented by earl nightingale so what i have here is it in a, on a small scale and it doesn't matter to me what the scale is i i love and appreciate these things no matter how big or small uh, conquest, big and small, I love them all. But here I have this land that wasn't really, it sat on the market and that, that, that intrigued me, it surprised me. It was, uh, I thought undervalued, or at least a fair value, while the market was really hot in 2022. The height of the market, and I snatched it up for what I thought was cheap. And obviously, for one reason or another, people didn't appreciate it, perhaps the threat of flood, what have you. But I found on this land, this is a part of it that goes off this way on the back stretch. There's, I don't know how many hundreds, of, how many feet of uh, creek front. But here, I found that there is a spring somewhere above here, and this soil is wet constantly. So I will plant <coughs> things like... Uh, this okra and some tomatoes and things like that just to play with it, you know. And I find that it gets more wet as I move over here. So there might be a, a, a little spring head or something in, in this area that this soil, here we are in June and it's hot and the soil is rich and wet. So I'm gonna give that a try. And there is another value in this land, you see? So. It's a wonderful thing. I'd like, I should ask some neighbors if they'd like to plant some things out here, but I haven't made those communications yet. But there you go. Look up Earl Nightingale, Acres of Diamonds. And of course I could talk incessantly about the, the value that I find in things like this, this little half acre property. I will leave you with a, with a caveat. Um, and that is, remember, don't give your children too much. Don't give them too many resources. Uh, in doing so, you, you deprive them of, of the things that people like me had growing up. And it was treasure beyond measure. It was the uh, necessity for survival and, and enriching ourselves and making our own, right? So. Yes, it's a wonderful thing that you level the playing field in doing so, but why not enrich your, your children from here, from here, and not so much from here? You know what I'm saying? It's just, 
is meaningful and I wanted to speak the words. Uh, bless you, love you all. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.